Today we're taking a look at the Charlotte Hornets vs Brooklyn Nets match, which is happening on Friday, April 16, 2021, and giving you my betting tips and predictions in general on this game. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also. Don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos. Charlotte lost to the Cleveland Cavaliers on Wednesday 103-90 as the Hornets shot only 40.5% overall and were out-rebounded by the Cavaliers 47-38. Charlotte continues to play without its second leading scorer Gordon Hayward, who is not due back until early May. Charlotte also has lost LaMelo Ball for the season. Malik Monk is out until late April, while leading rebounder PJ Washington is questionable for Friday. Brooklyn was defeated by the Philadelphia 76ers on Wednesday 123-117. Brooklyn is 37-18 and one game behind Atlantic Division leading Philadelphia. Brooklyn continues to be hurt by injuries as the Nets have played very few games with their three superstars Kevin Durant, James Harden and Kyrie Irving on the court at the same time. The Nets host the Hornets Friday night in the third and final meeting between these teams this season. The Hornets beat the Nets by two on December 27, but the Nets won the rematch on April 1, 111-89. The Hornets have lost three straight games after losing 103-90 to the Cavaliers on Wednesday. They will face a stiff challenge against the Nets as Brooklyn is coming off of a 123-117 loss to the 76ers on Wednesday. The Nets have lost three of six, but they haven't had their full complement of players available so it's difficult to get a read on where they stand. They'll welcome back some of their stars who were resting on the second night of a back-to-back -back when they play the Hornets, though they'll still be without James Harden. Is it possible that Harden's absence and the Nets' lethargic defense could breathe some life into a Hornets team that's desperate for any kind of hope? Let's get into the matchup and see if we can find some value. So here is my first betting suggestion for that game. The Nets nearly upset the 76ers on Wednesday night without Durant while the Hornets lost by 13 to the Cavaliers without leading scorer Colin Sexton. The Hornets will need a heroic effort from Rozier to cover. But my money is on Durant continuing to score at an absurdly efficient rate as the Nets blow out the Hornets. The Hornets will again be without Malik Monk, PJ Washington, Gordon Hayward, and Devonta Graham and their confidence took a real hit after falling to the Cavaliers on Wednesday. The Nets have their own injury concerns as James Harden continues to sit out, but they almost pulled off the upset against the 76ers after trailing by as many as 22 points. My first betting advice for that game is to pick Nets minus 13.5. If the Hornets cover as heavy underdogs, they will need a huge night from Terry Rozier while secondary scorers step up as they are dealing with a myriad of injuries. Brad Wanamaker is questionable, and PJ Washington is doubtful. Devonta Graham and Malik Monk are out while Gordon Hayward and La Melo Ball remain out indefinitely. This means that four of the Hornets' top five scorers are out, and their sixth leading scorer, Washington, is unlikely to play. Thus Rozier will need to have a huge night for the Hornets to remain competitive or pull the unlikely upset. Rozier has been efficient as the Hornets' leading scorer this season. His 121.0 points per 100 shots rank in the 91st percentile among combo guards this season. While Rozier has been about average as a finisher at the rim, he has been in the 82nd percentile or higher in shooting percentage from the mid-range and beyond the arc this season problem for the Hornets? They simply can't score. This once promising and fun offense has mustered up just 108.7 points per 100 possessions over the past five games, according to NBA.com, which ranks fifth to last in the NBA. They shot a very poor 34.3% from three over that span, and the only thing they can really hang their hat on as being not terrible is a 21st ranked rebounding rate. Broadening our view to the last 10 games, we can see the Hornets really like to slow down games, ranking third to last in pace. This will be a pace-up game for them against the Nets, who have been flirting with the top 10 in that metric all season long and who have generally played up-tempo with Durant in the lineup. 
the Hornets will also need secondary scorers like Miles Bridges, Jalen McDaniels, and the Martin Twins to step up to beat the Nets with both Durant and Irving expected to be available. Bridges is the only other available player on the Hornets besides Rozier who is scoring with well above average efficiency as his 123.8 points per 100 shots rank in the 75th percentile among bigs. Bridges 38.6%, McDaniels 35.8%, and Rozier 40.4% are the only three Hornets available who are shooting over 29% on threes this season. If the Nets cover as heavy favorites, they will need Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant to play a high level. James Harden, Tyler Johnson, and Chris Chiazza are out indefinitely. LaMarcus Aldridge will not return to the Nets lineup as he retired on Thursday due to an irregular heartbeat. The Nets are heavily favored as they have two of the elite offensive players in the game, Irving and Durant, while the Hornets are significantly shorthanded. Durant hasn't played a ton of basketball since his return from a quad injury, but he has been incredibly efficient lately. Durant's 131.6 points per 100 shots rank in the 96th percentile among forwards, while his 22.6% assist rate ranks in the 95th percentile. Irving has shown recently that he is still an incredible offensive force with his unparalleled handle, and he should be able to take advantage of the Hornets' defense on dribble penetration that allows the 6th highest percentage at the rim, 65.5% this season. With superstars such as Durant, Irving, and Harden, scoring is not a problem for the Nets. Brooklyn averages 118.8 points per game which is second in the NBA. Leading the scoring for Brooklyn is Durant with an average of 28.2 points per game while Irving is second with an average of 27.9 points per game. Harden, who is out injured, is the leader in assists therefore the active assists leader is Irving with an average of 6.1 dishes per contest. As a team, Brooklyn averages 26.7 assists and 13.4 turnovers for an assist to turnover ratio of 2.0. Irving and Kevin Durant are expected to be back in the lineup here, though James Harden remains out with a hamstring injury. There's also the issue of LaMarcus Aldridge who is no longer with the team after experiencing an irregular heartbeat and subsequently retiring from the NBA. That leaves a bit of a hole in the front court, though the Nets still have Blake Griffin to fill that void, as well as youngster Nick Claxton. When Aldridge was on the floor in his six games, he added two net points per 100 possessions, according to NBA. Calm so Brooklyn will be searching for a way to make that up, the Nets will be returning home to Barclays Center where they're just 13 to 16 against the spread this year, and an even worse 8 to 14 ATS as the home favorites for Bet Labs. This adds just the slightest little twist in the matchup. If the Nets get their role players to play well alongside Durant and Irving, it could get ugly for the Hornets in a hurry. Joe Harris's 48% accuracy on threes this season ranks in the 97th percentile among wings, per cleaning the glass. DeAndre Jordan and Nicholas Claxton continue to put pressure on the rim and can give the Nets easy buckets when the defense overcommits to their superstars. Jeff Green, Timote Luo, Kabarit, Bruce Brown and Landry Shaman also give the Nets defensive versatility while making smart reads to be in the right position to score on offense. So here is my second betting suggestion for that game. The Hornets are 3-8 ATS in their last 11 games against a team with a winning record, 6-2 ATS in their last 8 road games and 5-0 ATS in their last 5 games following a double-digit loss at home. The Nets are 2-7 ATS in their last 9 home games, 6-13 ATS in their last 19 games following a loss and 3-10 ATS in their last 13 games as a favorite. Head to head the under is 5-1 in the last 6 meetings overall and the Hornets are 6-13 ATS in the last 19 meetings overall. The Brooklyn Nets look for a win after splitting their last 6 games. The Brooklyn Nets are averaging 118.8 points on 49.4% shooting and allowing 114.2 points on 46.2% shooting. Kevin Durant is averaging 28.2 points and 5.2 assists while Kyrie Irving is averaging 27.9 points and 4.8 rebounds. 
James Harden is the third double-digit scorer and Joe Harris is dishing 1.9 assists. The Brooklyn Nets are shooting 38.8% from beyond the arc and 80.5% from the free throw line. The Brooklyn Nets are allowing 36.6% shooting from deep and are grabbing 44.5 rebounds per game. My second betting advice for that game is to pick over. And now for some stats and trends. Brooklyn is 6-3 ATS in the last 9 at home versus Charlotte. Charlotte is 2-4 ATS in the last 6. The Hornets are 6-13 ATS in the last 19 against Brooklyn. Good luck to all of you. That's it for this video. Stay tuned and stay safe for the next betting tips and advice.